Hello, this is a video about search function on different sites. First, I introduce the general settings of search pages function. Here to select the account, here keywords, the amount here, here to wipe the cache, here to set if you will get duplicate data. Here is timeout, here is how to use data part. Choose account here. Search keyword. I choose text keyword. Remember that only one keyword per line. Now back to search page module. Search amount. The default amount is 5. I can also modify it. If you choose to wipe search condition, it means you are going to clean up search sources. Just like cleaning search links. If you choose to wipe search result, it means you are going to clean up the search data. So if I want to wipe search result, select it and click wipe cache. Once you choose to not to get duplicate data, there will be no duplicate data in your searched result. For timeout, the default setting is 240 seconds. It can't be too short. For example, if I input one second, maybe I could not get any data. Generally, it should be more than 60 seconds. If I want to get a lot of data, I'd better set it as more than 5 or 10 minutes. How to fetch data means how it will use the searched data. Use the first row, last row, or random row. On the right side, it means how to deal with the data after being used. Don't delete. Delete the row, move the row to the last, move the row to the first. Both the two parts are to deal with the data searched through the module. Next, I will talk about the specific functions of the following search modules. I take Facebook as an example. The first one, search pages. It can search its own pages of the account. In other words, if I create a page with my own account on Facebook, I can search the page. Select it. If I search my own page, I don't need any keywords. I can't input anything here. The second, search people. It can search users you may know. That is, you can search the users recommended by Facebook. Don't need to input keywords here either. The third one, search posts. It can search posts posted by anyone, page, and group. If I want to search a post by page, here I can choose the link of the page. I choose search pages. I can use keyword. I can also not use. If I use keyword here, it will search the posts in the page according to the keyword. If I don't use keyword, it will search posts in this page in the order of posts. This option means you can search the latest post. If I select it, the search amount could only be one timeout 600 seconds. If I want to search a post, post it by group. Here I need to choose the source of the group. Here I can use keyword. I can also not use. If I use keyword, it will search posts in the group according to the keyword. If I don't use keyword, it will search this group for posts by time. The fourth one, search posts by user, with similar settings. The difference lies in user source. Here I need to choose the link of the user, so it will search posts by user. The fifth, search friend. Here to choose the link of the user, so it will search for friends of this user according to the link. 
the sixth search groups. It can search a group you joined. If I select it, I don't need to set the keyword. The seventh, search user by post information. Here the post source. Here I can choose the information of the posts, such as author, liker, and commenter. The eighth, search friends from notifications. It can search friends who interact with you according to the notifications. Here to set the account who interacted with me within hours. Here is the data source type. If I select all, all the friends who are in notifications will be searched. If I select liker, inviter, and commenter, only friends with these three types of operations will be searched. Next, I take Instagram as an example. The first one, search users. It can search by username, name, anyone, and both. I can set the search type. It will search by user's information. Search type contains accurate and fuzzy search types. If I choose accurate search type, maybe one result only. So if I choose accurate search type, I'd better cancel don't get duplicate data. The second, search photos. I can set search type also. The post time of the photos. It means how long the photos were posted till now. If the photos were posted within one hour, the photos would be searched. If not within one hour, the photos will not be searched. The third, search photo by location. The keyword should be country, state, and city. If you are not clear about it, you can try to search on Instagram and then use it here. The fourth one, search followers. It will search the followers of the user. Here to choose the link of the user. The fifth one, search following. Still choose the link of the user here, and it will search the following of the user. The sixth, search the unfollow back users. For the first option, according to the information provided by the site, it gets the account information, then searches for the needed data, compares the data, and finally gets a result. For the second option, it means to search people who are followed in following like by the user, but don't follow back after a period of time. For the setting of time, as some users don't use follow function in following like, you will fail to search through the second option. The seventh, search photos by user. The link of the user. Here I can filter the photos through settings. The photo will be searched when the likes reach the number below. And the photo will be searched when the comments reach the number below. Get the latest photo or not. That is, if you are going to check whether that user posts new photos. If the user does, the latest photos will be searched. If the user doesn't, the program will keep searching photos. At last, I take LinkedIn as an example. First, to choose account here, keyword here, it can be now. If I choose first, it means this person is one of your contacts, so the keyword can be now. If I choose first, second, and third, or more, I need to set the keyword. 
if you are not a member the number of your searches will be limited so do not search frequently if you need lots of data search the data through search module first here you can set the search amount 500 for example and longer timeout just to make sure you can get lots of data that's all for search module other websites are similar maybe you can have a try on your own first thanks for watching